What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. For today's video, I have a quick little heads up that I've wanted to give all you folks who might be in the same proverbial boat that I am. I have a disgusting amount of anima, to the point where it is growing over my entire inventory like a vile, all-consuming fungus, since Blizzard decided to have about 18 billion different items that you have to collect for anima to deposit into your Covenant Reservoir. The problem is that your Covenant Reservoir can only hold 35,000 anima, meaning for one reason or another you'll eventually have nothing to spend anima on. And when your anima reservoir is capped out, you can't deposit any more, so then you're stuck with literal piles of books, jars, flowers, organs, blood globules, wine, acorns, and whatever the heck else that you can apparently juice for anima. Thankfully, there has been a new vendor added in a recent build that can help alleviate at least some of these anima constraints. The broker you'll be looking for is Tukol, and he's located in the Hall of Holding in Ouroboros. This is the room where the bank and the box of sadness, I mean the great vault, are located. On the right side you'll find Tukol, and he'll offer a variety of crafting reagents in exchange for your abundance of reservoir anima. You can get 10 heavy callus hides, 20 lightless silk, or 20 alevium ore from the respective shipment satchels and these will cost 7500 anima each. More interestingly though, you'll also have the option for Corthite Crystal Geodes for a whopping 25,000 anima. This item gives you 5 of the new lucrative Corthite Crystals, used in Legendary Crafting for the Tome of Origins optional reagent. Since these items are rare drops from rares, treasures, and occasional daily quests in Corthia, they are currently a pretty good source of easy money for basically anyone, since they can be sold on the auction house even if you aren't a Legendary Armor Crafter. For me personally, this is a huge perk as I've been capped on Anima for the last few days, almost a week, and haven't known what to do with it all, other than like, stuff it all in my bank like a pack rat, or literally destroy it so I can get some of my frickin' inventory space back. And while this isn't directly related to spending Anima, Kotul also has some new items that you can purchase in patch 9.1. This vendor is right next to Tukol, and with their names being so similar, I've had to re-record this part like five times as I keep messing the two of them up. He will use Attendance Tokens of Merit and Valor for his currencies. The Valor spending thing has been in the game for a while, and honestly it's pretty expensive for what you get so I wouldn't bother, but you can now make money off your Great Vault if you choose the reward of 3 Attendance Tokens of Merit at the bottom of the Vault UI once the week resets and you've done your Mythic Plus or Raiding or PvP stuff to earn at least one reward from the Vault. This way, even if your vault has all crappy items in it for whatever reason, you have an option to choose something that can at least make you a little bit of money, because most notably is the ability to purchase 5 Corthite Crystals for 3 tokens, which is basically the only real money making choice that you can spend these tokens on. And seeing how Stygia basically drops from the sky and has pretty limited use now, Soul Ash is infinitely farmable, Anima is flying out of every orifice in the Shadowlands, and the cataloged research reward doesn't give you reputation, yeah I would say to just stick with the Corthite Crystals if you want to make a bit of gold on your alts. Heck, even I'm tempted to level a few characters to 60 just so they can do like a plus 2 key every week for some easy money. Anyways folks, I figured I would just share this quick bit of info with you all if you hadn't seen it yet. Definitely some good ways to earn some extra gold, or even just other currencies and items that you might be needing, especially if you're drowning in anima like I have been the last week or so. I hope this video was entertaining or proved useful to you, and even better if it did both. If so, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe checking out the rest of the channel if you're looking for other WoW-related guides and info, as I try to cover a variety of topics. And as always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers and especially my patrons, who all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.